What's going on YouTube world? This is your guy, Seals the Man. Thank you for coming back, as always. Today's video is gonna be something interesting that a lot of women go through, and I see it all the time, and I feel like it needs to be talked about to hopefully bring some kind of transparency to it. Even though it is based in confusion, immaturity, uh, all types of other things, but I'm gonna talk about that later in the video, so make sure you stay through the whole video. But before I start, make sure you follow me, subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think about this video and thank you for coming back. Follow me on everything Seals the Man and let's get straight to it. So why do men pursue, then withdraw when interest is shown? This guy, he's always on you. He's clearly liking you, feeling you, dig you. He wants you, but you keep saying no for whatever reason. It might be at some point in your life where you're not ready for a relationship. Maybe you just got out of a long relationship. Maybe you're recently divorced. Maybe you just don't want a relationship right now. But something happens in your brain and you say, you know what? I'm gonna give this guy a chance. You make that decision, you initiate it, and now he doesn't text back. He doesn't call back. He ignores you, but he's watching your stories. Things just got real weird. So I'm gonna talk about the reasons why certain guys do that. And the first reason I'm gonna bring up is some dudes just like the game of chasing. Crazy, right? But it's a real thing. Some guys just like chasing. They like the action of chasing. They like the process of chasing. Chasing is fun for them. I remember one time I was watching Animal Planet and the orcas, you know, the, the, the deadliest predators in the sea, they even eat sharks, it's crazy. But the orcas was chasing this seal, I think it was, it was two of them, and they were just chasing it. Then when they finally got to it, they just flipped it in the air, flipped it again, and then they just left the seal. They didn't even want to eat the seal. They wasn't hunting the seal, they just wanted to chase it. And that's how a lot of these dudes out here are like. They like to chase. They don't actually want you. They don't want to consume you like the, the orcas did with the seal. They don't want, they, they're full. But some of them actually just like the chase. Even crazier, some dudes like getting rejected. Like it brings them adrenaline. So understand, sometimes it's not you. Sometimes it's just that when you finally show interest, he understands that the chase is over and that his fun is over and that that's all he wanted. Now he's out. I don't know how to explain that, but I'm a big fan of human psychology and this is one of the things I've encountered and read about and it's a, it's a real thing, all right? So the next reason why a guy might leave you on red or ditch you after you finally show interest to him is a lack of maturity aka immaturity. Some guys don't realize how mature the woman he's actually chasing is until she finally talks to him, until she finally accepts his invitation. Because I remember there was a recent study saying that the woman's brain develops faster than a man's brain. Well, in this case, he may come across a woman who is more intellectually developed than him, or she may be at a point in her life where she's doing more things than he is compared to his and his mind. Then when he finally realizes that, he feels intimidated. So when it comes to maturity, it comes with a lot of things. With maturity, you learn how to carry yourself. You learn how to communicate. In maturity, you learn how to hold conversations. You learn how to start, initiate, and build relationships. But if you don't have maturity, you don't have this knowledge, you don't have this experience, you don't have these things. So there's a level of ignorance, right? So when she finally comes on to him, like he wanted or he thought he wanted, and she's experienced in those things because she's mature and he's not, that will push him away. That will scare him away for some, because he doesn't know what to do. What do you do when you don't know what to do? When you're not privy of things. And then especially as a man, a lot of men have ego. So when they feel nervous about something or when they feel pressured, especially by a woman, a lot of them will collapse. And this is what happens when you don't hear back from him. If he's not mature, he has ran away. All right, so the next reason why a guy may abandon you when you actually show interest in him is he's broke. And I'm not speaking just on financially. I'm not speaking on just money-wise. I'm speaking on having and not having. So let me compare this to window shopping. What are the reasons some people window shop? They wanna see what's out there. They're interested in something and they wanna find out up close how it feels. Even though it's not on them, they wanna be in the area of this thing. They can touch it, but they just can't have it yet because they can't afford it. A lot of men will ditch you after you show interest because they realize they can't afford you. They were window shopping you. You look good. You talk nice, you say the certain things that turns him on. You're super attractive to this guy. He's shopping you now. He's walking around you. You're like a, almost a representation of a mannequin in the store. He wants you, he wants to buy you, but ah, he just can't get you right now. But then when you actually show interest, when there's actually a chance that he can buy this, he realizes he can't afford you. And what do most people do? After they're done window shopping and, and pick up the hanger with the shirt or whatever it is on it, and they realize they can't afford it, they put it back on the rack. 
And that is what happens when a dude finally finds out who you are. When you when you show who you truly are after you show interest, after you decide to show him interest, and he realizes he can't afford you, he puts you back. And in these terms, that means stop communication with you, ignores you, leaves you on red, just all types of abandonment. And that leads me to my next reason why dudes will leave you after you show interest, and that is you showed him the real you. You see, when you show interest, you show the real sides of you. When you're not showing interest, you're not showing the real sides of you. Like when you're rejecting someone, they don't know who you are because you're just putting out that rejection. Like, yo, I'm good. Like, nah, I don't want that right now. They don't know who you are by those things. But when you actually show interest in something, you start to show pieces of yourself because you're interested in that thing, right? Or you're open to getting this thing. So you start to show real sides of yourself. And when you start to share pieces of yourself, when you start to show yourself to him, he didn't like it. He didn't accept what was being given to him from you. What he thought of you was totally different than what you gave him, than what you showed him, the real you. Because as a man, when you're pursuing someone, when you're chasing someone, you don't truly know this person. You know what they look like on the outside. You may know how they talk or how they sound at work or whatever, wherever place this is. You know the external factors of this person, but you don't truly know, know this person, the inside, the DNA. But once this guy figured out who you truly were, he didn't like it. And that is a big reason why a lot of dudes will leave you after you show interest. And the last reason why dudes will leave you after you show interest is your wants doesn't align with his. This kind of ties in with my last point, And that is you don't know someone until they show you. And in knowing someone, that also comes with knowing what they want, what they want out of this, what they want from you, what they expect from you, what they expect from this. So when you finally show interest to this dude, y'all start talking on a serious note, getting to know each other through conversation and communication and you start to present what you want out of this or what you want in a relationship or what you're looking for in a relationship, he realizes he doesn't want that same thing as you do. And he only figured this out when you showed interest, when you start to have real conversations with him, when you stop rejecting him. Maybe he wants to get married soon, but you want to take it slow because you just got out of a divorce. Or maybe he just wants to have fun, but you're a devout Christian and you're holding on to your virginity until marriage. You don't know what someone wants until you know, until they tell you, until you figure them out, until you start to have real conversations. So if something like this happens, you finally show them interest and y'all start having these conversations, he backs off because y'all once don't align with each other. And that's fine, that's okay. Why force something that does not meld together, right? Oil and water, don't fight it. So hopefully these reasons clear up some things, hopefully, because there's a lot of other reasons why dudes do this, and I won't get into those. I, will, I just tried to get into the logical ones, all right? So thank you for coming back to my video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.